Okay, I'm a college coach. I haven't seen any tape of you. I don't know anything about you. Tell me about Tom Brady, the quarterback. What are your strengths? Well, everybody tells me I have a pretty strong arm, which is which is good. Brady's in the gun. Brady throws it to the end zone for Ken Brown Tompkins. Leaping. He's he got it! Touchdown! He's he got it! it! I'm pretty accurate with it. And uh, I think I need to work on my speed a little bit. But hopefully that'll come in time. Look at Brady! One more ring! Pretty good work ethic, so I think I can get the job done. Nobody works harder than Tom Brady. What do you say to someone who has always had a shadow casted over him? Doubted over and over and over again, only to prove everyone wrong? Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. was born August 3rd, 1977, the youngest of four children in a sports-heavy household. What do you think makes a good ball player? <laughs> His oldest sister, Maureen, was an all-American pitcher in high school and played collegiately at Fresno State. Julie played soccer at St. Mary's College, and Nancy played softball at Cal Berkeley. From what I recall, a driving force for Tom was to not be known simply as Maureen's little brother, said Brady's old teammate, Dean Ayub. Growing up on Portola Drive in San Mateo, California, he excelled at baseball, developing into a six foot three, sweet swinging lefty catcher selected in the 18th round of the 1995 draft by the then Montreal Expos. Kevin Malone, former GM of the Expos, went on to say, I think he could have been one of the greatest catchers ever. However, as Brady Sr. said, we did more than just discourage the baseball people because Tommy had his mind set up that he was going to play football. Good afternoon. My name is Tom McKenzie. I'm the head football coach at Unipresera High School. Uh, I'm just going into my fifth year of coaching, and I'd like to introduce my uh, starting quarterback from this past season, Tom Brady. Brady first played competitively his freshman year, joining a squad that went 0-8-1. When the previous starter quit for basketball, Brady shined. Even with his skills at the position, Brady Sr. recalled sending tapes to around 54 schools. Probably the ones that we did hear from and ultimately paired the list to were Cal Berkeley, UCLA, USC, Michigan, and Illinois. Former Trojans head coach John Robinson thought Brady wasn't good enough, rebuking Mike Riley's sentiments when he visited Brady in high school. You blew it! Berkeley appeared to have the upper hand. Former assistant Denny Schuler would go on to say, Brady actually committed to me and Cal with his parents in a home visit after his official visit. I reluctantly agreed to allow him, his mother's request as Tom's grandfather played at Michigan, to visit Ann Arbor thinking we would be okay as he had favored us from day one. What the hell are you thinking? Brady, who made the trek from San Mateo to Ann Arbor for his official visit, committed to the maize and blue. Upon his arrival, six other quarterbacks were ahead of him on the depth chart. His sophomore year, he went head to head with what would be a 10 year NFL vet and future Super Bowl champion, Brian Greasy. After being beaten out, he considered transferring. Legendary UM coach Lloyd Carr would tell ESPN, he sat down right in front of my desk, coach, I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna prove to you that I'm the best quarterback. There's no question as I looked into his eyes, he had a goal in mind and he was not going to be denied. Junior year preemptively signaled Brady's first opportunity. That was until two sport phenom and local hero Drew Henson secured his commitment to Michigan. Henson threw 52 touchdown passes in three seasons at Brighton High School, along with 70 home runs in 1998, being named the Gatorade High School Player of the Year. When his team had a void at punter, he, well, punted and averaged 45.7 yards per punt. On top of this, he was drafted by the Yankees in the third round of the 1998 amateur draft. Brady, the captain, versus Henson, the new shiny toy with all the tools in the toolbox. Carr came to a decision. Brady would play one quarter of the first half, Henson would play the other, and whoever performed best would play throughout the second half. October 9th. 1999, Michigan, Michigan State in East Lansing. With Henson in the game, the Wolverines built a deficit of 17 points. Brady entered and the game turned on a dime. In the final 18 minutes, Brady threw for 241 yards, nearly leading the comeback. The job was his through his own doing, competing and winning, no questions asked. 
The following season, in Brady's final game, Michigan were down 14-0 in the Orange Bowl to Alabama. They would win 35-34 behind Brady's career high in touchdowns and yardage in a single game. Still, heartache and doubt would soon follow. At the 2000 NFL Combine, Brady posted a 24.5 vertical jump and a 5.28 40-yard dash, a record worst for a quarterback. Mr. Tom Brady! The scouting report? Poor build. Skinny. Lacks great physical stature and strength. Lacks mobility and ability to avoid the rush. Lacks a really strong arm. Can't drive the ball downfield. Does not throw a really tight spiral. System type player who can get exposed if forced to ad lib gets knocked down easily. Tom Brady fell and fell and fell to the sixth round pick number 199. What the fuck? The following quarterbacks were selected before Tom Brady. Chad Pennington, Giovanni Carmazzi to the 49ers, now a yoga exercising goat farmer who doesn't own a television. Chris Redman, T. Martin, Mark Bolger, Spurgeon win of Southwest Texas State who had a 47% completion percentage in college. In training camp, Pat's owner Robert Kraft would recall, this skinny bean pole of a young man walked over to me and said, hi, Mr. Kraft, I want to introduce myself. I'm Tom Brady. I said, I know who you are. You're our sixth round draft choice. And I will always remember, he looked at me like a laser, eye to eye, and he said, that's right and I'm the best decision this organization has ever made. Brady was one of four quarterbacks on the roster chasing the newly minted $103 million man, Drew Bledsoe. September 23rd, 2001. Week two of the 2001 season, Bledsoe, attempting to lead a come from behind a win, rolled out to his right and was decked by Mo Lewis, leaving the game. Now, once again, it was Brady patiently waiting to make his grand entrance. In 15 games replacing Bledsoe, Brady would go 11 and four. First year starting, first year playoffs, no first year jitters. Brady would throw for 312 yards in a 16-13 overtime win over Rich Gannon and the Oakland Raiders. Against the Steelers, the following week, Brady injured his leg in the first half with Bledsoe leading New England to victory 24-17. He would return for the Super Bowl and a thrilling 2017 win over the Rams. He has set many records along the way of his historic Hall of Fame career. Five Super Bowls, four Super Bowl MVP awards, first unanimous MVP, regular season wins by a starting quarterback, playoff wins, playoff touchdown passes, Super Bowl wins, Super Bowl MVPs, Super Bowl touchdowns. But none should be sweeter and serve as a more motivational teaching tool than being continually doubted, shoved to the side, not even being the best in your family, to always being prepared and always believing in yourself when very few do. That's the story of Tom Brady. And I hope you write your own story too.